everybody ready to pay more money at the pump? Have you all heard about the news that happened last Friday with a colonial pipeline? Yes, cyber attack. And then they shut down their whole system. So there's no gas, diesel, or jet fuel that's being flown from basically Texas all the way up the East Coast. The pipes are bone dry. So whatever is in those particular areas that it feeds is what they have. You see, they produce and push through those pipelines over 2.5 billion gallons of fuel per day. So what does that mean for you? Basically, what happens is, is hopefully we don't run out of fuel. The supply and demand, well, there is no supply. What little supply may be coming in is very little. And the demand is higher than what the supply is. So it's only a matter of time before everything starts to run dry. You see, this pipeline supplies most of the East Coast with 45% of the fuel. On another note, this is another good reason why you need to be prepared. You see, you can't always know what is coming. You prepare for the unknown. This is an unknown. It's not like we're in war. Now, a lot of, of, most of all, the news agencies are reporting that they do believe that Russia is behind this. And you probably have, you know, six or ten people are sitting in a wooden shack out in the middle of Siberia someplace, pushing buttons on a computer. And it's pretty ironic, if you really think about it, is the fact that they shut down this whole system with that. You know, all they have to do is hit that inner key on the keyboard and voila, boom, it's shut down. Okay, now we haven't heard yet. It hasn't been put in the news if this is one of the ransomwares. So basically where they want money to basically release their internet and their computers and their whole infra infrastructure. You see, these people are going after what really are going to hurt us. They're going after all the big corporations. They're going after what's going to really cripple the most American people. It's not war like we're used to. We're not being invaded. We don't have ships pulling up to the shores and dumping off men and tanks and trucks and everything else. We're not being bombed from the skies. We don't have people parachuting in. We don't have people breaching our borders as far as military goes. You see, a lot of the countries know that when it comes to a standard war, we're the last ones that they really want to get involved with because we have the highest technology, the most trained, and the biggest army. Now, I do believe that I think China may have more men than we do, but when it comes right down to push and shove, our training and everything else that is done through our military, I think we are more superior than any other country. But when it comes to cyber attacks, folks, well, these people, you can't call them stupid. They are very, very smart. They're very intelligent. They know what they're doing. They know how to find all these loopholes. They know how to get around things and get into people's systems. And they're not just going after your system or mine. What they want, they want all the major corporations. This way here, they hurt more American people than what really you're really thinking about. So if you are prepared for any type of cyber attack, storm, pandemic, anything else. It's a good reason why you want to be a prepper. You want to make sure in this type of a situation, because gas could be running pretty short, pretty quick, and prices could get skyrocketing high. Lord only knows where that's going to go. But it's a good idea, especially if you live in a hurricane prone area, because maybe you may not be able to get gas for your generators. So it's always good to have a battery bank system. Large battery banks, small battery banks, battery banks of all different shapes and sizes. They all can do different things and have a way to charge them. You know, you can get compact solar panels. You can get regular solar panels. You can get big solar panels that you can set up that'll charge a lot of different things, especially if you live anywhere in the south where it's sunny most of the time. On that note, the biggest thing that you have to remember is it's very hard to fight something and predict something that you can't even see. You don't even know it's there. 
these cyber attacks are uncontrollable. They try to put off and intercept and do all these other things that they do as far as the government, but they can't catch them all. All it takes is one. This is a great example. You go back into the 1990s all the way up till now and you go through and do your research. You see all these companies have been hit. All these companies have been hacked and everything else. And Lord only knows. But it's only a matter of time before they're going to really do something drastic. And I believe that we need to be prepared for that. Because if they go after our main power grid and try shutting it down, overloading it, destroying it, or anything like that, with a stroke of a finger, we're in trouble. So on that note, make sure that you're out there, you're prepping. Make sure that you're doing as much as you can. Make sure that you're putting away your food, your, your water. Make sure you have medical supplies. Make sure you have as much gas as you can store to run if you have generators or even to put into your car. If you, and then you have to just kind of like limit where you have to go. You know, I mean, it could come down to that, folks. We just don't know what the outcome of this whole situation is going to be. You're talking a lot of people from Texas all the way up to Jersey. So the more you can prepare, the better off you're going to be for you and your family. Survival is key in this issue. And speaking of survival, I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today for this short little video. Make sure that you're staying prepared because this is a perfect example of why you need to be prepping and why you need to be prepared because you can't always see what is coming. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.